If you make art, then you know how hard it can be to find perfect reference for an illustration. But equally frustrating is when we do have perfect reference and we still can't get the drawing right. Has this happened to you? There might be several things at play here. But this video is about the biggest problem over 90% of all artists forget when using any reference for their work. You're watching the Art Foundation. <sighs> Photos are taken from a small device we hold in our hand or mount to a tripod. This device is your eyes looking at the subject. You are behind the four corners of the image you are looking forward towards. Crazy to think that, eh? But we often forget that when we use reference. The biggest mistake most everyone makes when using reference is forgetting the elevation of the subject to your view. This is how to physically connect with the subject. By knowing your elevation to the subject, and your elevation to the horizon line. Our natural tendency is to look and draw straight forward, straight ahead, very rarely thinking in hard or complex camera angles. That's not a natural tendency for us. So when we grab any reference, there is something inside us that assumes. Because of this, we do very little investigating before we start to copy, which is also wrong. We are recreating the image, not copying. Therefore, more studying to familiarize or get acquainted with the subject matter is vital to our goal. Regardless of whether we shoot the reference or not, we still have to connect with it. Find where our eyes are, our elevation, in reference to the subject. A quick side note, many of us do not think about putting our phone up to our eyes to view the image through a viewfinder, the way we used to with old cameras. We hold it out in front of us, so we might not think at all about the elevation of the camera. But that's what we are looking for. Not the eyes, but the camera. This is done by determining the horizon line, then finding the ground plane below the subject and connecting them together. You're on the same ground plane. Your elevation to the subject determines how you are viewing the subject and how you relate to them in relationship to the horizon line. This is your perspective guide. This process is a little different than finding the vanishing points for objects in the world as those are related to the world space. And what we are doing is finding the perspective of this photo to relate to it. This is the practice for finding perspective in your subject based upon the camera lens used to shoot it. For figures, I have listed here in this example the most common elements to look for, but this can be applied to any subject matter. Pause here and screenshot this so you have this as a handout. You're looking for the lines that travel back into Z depth or Z space. Z depth is the direction that heads back into the picture space, the depth of the world within the photo or the illustration. We can find the Z depth by finding platforms and overhangs, or floors and ceilings. These all travel back into space. We can also determine the Z depth using the visible ellipses in the picture, following them back and around until we find their depth. Drawing a square around the ellipse and connecting it to the vanishing point will help you find its correct elevation or correct position in space. A way to practice learning how to see the subject correctly is to use your own camera and any subject will do, but a figure is most ideal because of its frequency of use in the art that we make. But anything can work. Take pictures of the subject who does not move at all for this exercise. Instead, you are the one moving from elevation to elevation, taking pictures of your subject, entire subject, in focus, from head to toe, top to bottom, no cropping. Compare these photos to each other and see if you can see the change in all of the shapes in front of you because of the change of elevation. The more you do this, the easier it will be for you to see the horizon and your elevation to the subject in any photo you look at. The floor plane is done in these seven simple steps. These steps can also be used to find a ceiling plane or a wall plane. Again, pause the video and screen grab this page so you can use this as a handout. Boxing in the subject matter is finding the subject correctly in perspective. Perspective is something many forget when drawing figures and why so many figures look just okay, but not really good, and also the reason why so many poses fail, but that's a topic for another video. Find either the subject shape or the horizon line first. Once both of these have been drawn, because you need both, 
Draw a forward edge in front of or below the subject matter on the page. Then connect it to the horizon line with vanishing lines that converge at the vanishing point, which will likely be somewhere in the middle of the subject. That's usually where we stand when we take a picture of our subject, right directly in front of them. Now draw the back edge to complete the plane below their feet. This will help with measuring the subject and keep reminding you that you are drawing something that exists somewhere, 3D. Run a diagonal through the large plane and use it as a transfer axis for the horizontal divisions. These smaller divisions are a better way of reminding us that we're measuring because it reminds us of using a ruler or a grid, a graph page. Following these steps, practicing with conscious intent to establish elevation at the beginning of the image so that everything you make fits into the world within your image will help ensure a level of believable realism in the work that you do. Art is not instinct. One is not born with talent. Practice with intent is what makes one great. Stay creative, and I'll see you in the next one.